What's good, my dudes? My name is Straylot, and welcome back to Penumbra Black Plague. Oh boy, I'm very excited. We're now finally in the library, two episodes later. It's about time. So let's continue. Yes, we're all safe, obviously. These books all look the same, though. Alright, this book. Oh, that door though. Wow, what an asshole my guy is. Am I right? What a cunt. Cool. Flare! Yay. Won't help him much, but it's still something. Oh, hectic. Oh my god! He's dead! Quick! If he hasn't started to smell, give him the kiss of life. Wait, that's my dad? Howard? Father? I... Somehow I knew it would end this way. Why did I come here? Shit, this is my dad? At least we finally found your dad. Now you found what you were looking for. You wanted to find your father. Now you found your father. So your father's working for a hectic underground society. And he ended up dead in the process. But of course. Ah oh yes, that might actually help a little bit. Let's read. Shit, your dad was working on the virus. Of course he was. What a cunt. Turn gate virus sentience conclusions. Howard Lafresque. Since leaving the last bastion of humanity in this place behind, it has become clear that my faith was well placed. My conclusions were correct, and it is only that which has brought me this far. It has taken me some time to make my way through the infected area of the shelter. With the observations I have made, my prior discovery seems all the more obvious and vital. The infected humans communicate with one another. Similar, if simpler, communication is observed in infected creatures of all species. At times, the infected seem to coordinate without clear line of sight. Telepathy. Yes, what we're doing now. Despite a catatonic appearance, the infected are quite capable of high-level brain functions. Their problem-solving abilities at times seem to far outstrip those of a healthy human being. When separated, the creatures lose this intelligence, indicating some form of communal or central intelligence. Yes, what we're undergoing, basically. Conclusion. The intelligence displayed is of such a level that we can only assume the communal mind is also rational. It is this conclusion that has formed the backbone of my recent endeavors. Though the infected may wander around like mindless, for want of a better word, zombies, they are no more stupid than a worker bee. Automa automatons, yes but far from stupid. In short, I believe the central intelligence might somehow be communicated with, bargained with. Communication, however, is most likely impossible once infected, unless there is a way to subdue the infection for long enough to contact the hive. There must be a way to find peace. Today I commune with the turn gate mind. I was correct. It is intelligent beyond our wildest imagination. It told me everything. Everything I needed to know. You could not imagine it. I cannot accept it. Oh, diddums, daddy popped his clogs, bull bleeding who, get on with it, will ya? Hey, don't talk shit about my dad, man, what the fuck, bro? Okay, we literally, since the first game, the journey and job of the first game was to find this man, and now we finally found him. I thought we'd find him maybe only in the third game. So I wonder what happens in the third game, just us trying to get out. I don't know. Well, rest in peace, papa. <laughs> That's very insensitive. I barely even thought about my father's death. I guess I wasn't expecting to find him any other way. I was determined to complete his work, find an answer to infection, and then contact the hive. Oh, so that's what we're doing now. Because originally, from the first game, our job was just to find him, find answers. You know, where is he? What is he doing? The last we heard of him was from a small letter, so our job was to just find him. Now we're continuing his research. Dude, you should have just listened to Red and fucked off home. Oh, we're back in one of these caves again. I mean, aren't they lovely? One, I wonder if we're gonna run to that chick again, or if I even saved her or anything like that. Oh, don't tell me more monsters are gonna come about. No. I doubt there would be any around. It's an old concrete pipe, probably used in the sewer. Yes. Quite heavy, ain't it? Alright, now I gotta be a boss and Assassin's Creed my way up there. Yep, throw it in. Yes, there we go. Uh, up the ladder. Holy <laughs> hell! Whoa. I, I, I mean, good. Yeah, 
Uh, more monkeys for the incinerator. Who the hell's Shut that guy? Up. Oh shit, one of the zombies bit his throat out. Oh, that's cock, man. That's shit. Well, up the ladder we go. Hopefully we don't share the same fate. Oh, thank goodness that actually worked. I'm just glad that rock didn't fall on me. Yeah, we're about to make it fall though. You know, it really Yay. is quite amazing. You monkeys and your problem solving. Thank How you. do you manage it with such small, singular brains? Okay, Isn't it terribly far, no. quiet not hearing the thoughts of every one of your brothers? Okay, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is annoying. We don't need this shit here. Why is it always pistons on this? Whoa! I did not see that one coming. That is cool. Let's actually check it out, see what we can find. Oh yay, another video chat from my girlfriend. My imaginary fake girlfriend. I'm, I haven't even seen what she looks like yet, but her voice sounds sexy, so I'm gonna assume she's sexy. I could be wrong though, but hey, whatever. You came! Yes. I guess I didn't really expect you to bother. My lab partner's such a pessimist. Uh, was such uh, a pessimist. Was. Yeah, I think I met kind him of rubbed off on me. <laughs> he tried to make it through to me not too long ago. I guess he's a bit late for the party. Yeah, he's on the floor. You'll have to make a quick detour over the now. surface next. But be careful. If the cold doesn't kill you, well, let's just say I didn't pick the safest of locales for my last ditch survival attempt. Oh, great. So okay, zombies, good so. news. Um, good news. Good news. So, oh yeah, I think I've got a cure. Well, it's not really what you'd call a cure cure, but it should be enough to help you. Oh, I sweet. don't think I'm infected. I was careful, but I guess if you come rescue me and I'm looking at you like you're a roast chicken, I got it wrong. Sorry, that probably wasn't funny, was no, it? No, it wasn't. Someone really no, tried to eat my ass. I suppose not. Not very funny at all. Well, How dare you. I hope to see you soon. Me too. Yeah, I hope yeah. To see you Cures, well. rescue, saving the world. Also cliche, also ridiculous. Do you really think you're doing the right thing? Your morality is just a lasting stain left behind by religion. Jesus. You know, if this voice thing comes from a virus, I'm surprised he knows what a movie is. I guess it's because he got it from my memories and he learned everything that I know, so that's how he knows what Yay, constructions is corrupt, of course, I have to figure it out myself once more. Get on my way, stupid barrels. Uh, nothing hidden. Okay. I guess we go now, through here. Oh, I wanted to push this off, see what would happen. Oh well, maybe next time. A cure! I had my doubts by then, but I didn't have much choice. I resolved to find a cabal and put things right. Oh shit, we're back on the surface, dude. I'm not actually cold, you understand? I'm just trying to make you feel better. Uh, Very inefficient thing, your brain. Oh, yeah. Gives off lots of heat. <laughs> My brain gives off lots of heat. My mind is overheating, dude. <laughs> I knew that phone was gonna break. I just knew it. I just knew it. Now, if I were oh, you, finally. which arguably I am, I'd be asking myself in a this... gormless sort of voice: Did that bridge really collapse, or is my good friend Clarence just playing an hilarious jape? Okay, the shut answer, up, monkey man, is that I don't even know myself. Wow. One way to find out: Please, please sir, don't get us killed. killed. I get this there so that I can use it. What the hell happened? Okay. I guess we could try again without the box. Yes, there we go. Okay. I see, dudes. I don't even need that freaking box after all. I got my shit sorted, man. Time to light up this blow barrel, too. So I don't freaking freeze to death. I knew I could. Yes. So typical, man. Homemade flamethrowers, am I right? Yes. 
Hell yeah. Now I'm going to go inside there again just to keep warm. All that loads. And food is can be expected. That's good. Alright, let's go, dudes. Let's go. See, I'm the expert pro level master puzzle solver. Hmm, this charrette. He's plastered all over your mind like a garish wallpaper. Yes, because he's my best friend. To die and <laughs> we wouldn't let him. <laughs> Up, you know, dude. he's kind of humming up the place, if you know what I mean. Weird smell. Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go give you a memory of him a good kicking. No, 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 no. Please, no. Not another guilt trip sort of trip thing, man. Uh, I thought he's gonna make me have a whole other fucking flashback thing of red. Like, the first one was already sad and bad enough, man. Uh, I need some preparation on the cloth. Yes, there we go. See? I know how fire works, dudes. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Yeah, I made a bomb, dudes. Uh, I should probably make that. This should work pretty nicely, I think. I'm glad I didn't unleash any zombies by doing that. Let's just go get room again quick. Let us go, dudes. Let us freaking go. Into the hill. So, on the to-do list. Find this damsel in distress. Yep. Kill the bad guys. Yes. Cure infection. Save the world. Chances of success? Nil. Chances of survival? Well, you got old Clarence on board. That should speak for itself. Chances oh, wow. of you buggering things up royally? Almost, Almost certain. certain. What an asshole. <laughs> I swear, if this woman is infected, I'm going to fucking be so pissed. Boy. Kennel, examination room, chemical laboratory. Knowing her, she's probably in like... I'd say it's definitely a dead end. Not necessarily. Knowing this chicky, she's probably in like the chemical fucking or in the research room. One of them. Let's pull out my glow stick. I love my glow stick. Whis, 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 whis. See how it rubs back and forth? Hell yeah, right. You know, you turning up here is probably the second best thing to happen to me since I've been down here. You're welcome. I'm reserving first place for when we get out. Oh uh, wow. So, I'm not big-headed enough to think you came all the way here just to rescue me. I wasn't lying, though. I think I've worked out how to disinfect you. But, you probably saw this coming. It's not quite as simple as all that. I had to engage the failsafe on the research rooms to seal myself in here. And that means we need a key card to get me out. One of the personnel, one of the infected ones, tried to get in with a card, but I don't know where he... Where it went. Yay. Look, I... I need you, and... Well, if you do get me out, I'll give you the biggest hug of your life. Just a hug? Uh, hello, I deserve Correct. some help for this Go shit. here, go okay. there, fetch this, rub Just me saying, a bath. Typical I'm literally broad, fighting against zombies for this chick. Bro, I've never even you met. think fate has anything to do with this? Fate is merely the war cry of those too scared to think for themselves. Yeah, I, I, I agree to some extent. This woman's making me do so much shit, man. Draw blood. Ain't that lovely. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. <laughs> ah! 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 You must be shitting me. The archaic would never ask that employees work longer than the recommended eight hours. Shut up, woman. But understands that enthusiasm for their work and dedication to the team may often motivate them to do so. Fuck Thank it you up. for not letting us down. Ugh, that's so horrible. And that was the first one. Uh, that was a zombie that I first ran into the first time. I heard some scratches behind that door. You there, stop where you are. I love he's telling me to stop, probably just to kill me. <laughs> you there, stop. You're not supposed to be here. Also, I'm gonna kill you now. It's like, yeah, I'm totally just gonna stop running just so you can kill me. Yeah, I know what happens if I stop running. You're gonna murder my ass. 
Alright, then that happens, son. Where's this fucking save so I can end this episode? It also says crate containing dog. Not their dogs. I wonder if those dogs are infected with the same shit. I think so. I think so. I presume this is where the dogs slept. It's pretty filthy. Yeah, that's why they turned into camera. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, I'm hiding now. Oh, something's happening. Dark, isn't it? Echo! 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 Very funny, Clarence. Echo! Fucking douchebag. Kinda empty. Now this, this is what it's like to be me, buried deep within the cavernous expanse you call a mind. Hey, at least you get to watch the movies you see, I have. <laughs> this is what puts me in such a bad mood. We spend all this time messing about with door codes, levers, human appendages, and it turns out at the blink of an eye, I can just block it all out. Whoosh! Gone. Just you and me on some kind of messed up holiday! Okay, man, chill You think out. I can conjure up some margaritas? Please. I'm surprised he knows what no. that is. Shall we get the hell out of here, then? Yes, let's well, go. It's hardly better, but it, it is more interesting. Just... Inside the walls, bro. Yeah, fuck that shit. Whoa. Isn't this where I started off from the first game? I remember this. Like, well, at the end of the first game, I mean. What happened in here? That's a good question. Dude, this is the room. At the end of the first game, I was in this walkway one night. Ah, uh, fuck. That is not healthy. Stand and stop. Uh, yep. Everything you expect that someone would have in caring for a dog. Oh, yeah, it's more of these dogs. I kind of miss them because I know I can kill them. I hope I've seen the last of these appalling things. Yeah, me too, dude. Me too. Horrible. Yeah, we can hide in here now. Why did I do this to myself? That was interesting. To say the very least. I was not a fan of that at all. Oh shit! Is that si are you serious? That was fucking Clarence, wasn't it? He just loves to mess with me like that, doesn't he? Fucking douche. I swear, this is... No, okay, it wasn't this room, but it looks something similar to this in the first game. And when we, after we killed Red, we got into this corridor and it looks something like that. Oh, finally, a safe psychic vision. Circuits. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, read this quickly. Cool. Efficiency assessment as sanctioned by Elof Carpenter. Elevated. That name rings a bell. Maybe from the first game, I'm not sure. Subject, Wolbar Frisk, Chief Overseer, Shelter Research Station, Greenland. Report filed by Gary Quinn, Fe February 20th, 2000. My assessment of Frisk begins today. I have taken up Station as his personal assistant and my report will run for six months. Since taking over control of the facility from Brent Stafferson in 1980, Frisk has turned up precious few results, and I intend to discover why. March 5, 2000. Having observed Frisk for two weeks, it seems my early assumptions may have been quite incorrect. He displays passion, efficiency, and above all commitment to the cause. These qualities are, able, are ably demonstrated by his recent discovery of what is being called the Turn Gate 2, or shit, so this is when they first discovered, which means I'm near it at the primary excavation. He has, of course, called for a full-scale investigation, April 28, 2000. A small-scale epidemic has resulted from the opening of the tomb. A small-scale epidemic. Oh, wow. A 
inside COVID. This will be a perfect opportunity to fully observe Fred's ability to deal with high pressure scenarios. That's fucked, man. May 24, 2000. The epidemic has developed beyond all control. There have been many casualties and it is hard to not highlight Wilbur as a primary cause. June 13, 2000. Fresk has lost all control while a number of survivors have fled and others have holed themselves up in the mess hall. Frisk has chosen to lock himself away in the kennels with the remaining dogs for protection. I have had no choice but to follow him here in order to complete my report. September. I have lost sense of time but Frisk seems to almost be enjoying himself. He's become very close to the canines. Every day he leaves the compound to forage for food in the main base, which he then feeds to the animals, despite a number of them being infected. He's chilling with infected dogs. He's, he's quarantining himself to not be around infected while still chilling with infected dogs. Like, bro. That's just fucking dumb, right? That just defeats the whole point of everything. October, question mark. Frisk has developed some strange symptoms. He's becoming sensitive to light. The slightest light scares him away. He's also displaying almost animalistic tendencies. He's been digging out some of the walls and hiding behind them. Further, I suspect he may be sneaking out of the facility at night, possibly even into the mines. Oh shit. And that's why there were dogs in the mines from the first game and all those holes that we saw in the wall now is from him. And he obviously killed some of those dogs. I thought he loved the dogs, so why did he kill them? He's a werewolf. Holy shit. Some of the dogs turn up dead. Entry 8. I love how he doesn't even label it by month anymore. He's just like, this is my next entry. I've been observing Frisk for some time now, and I believe I can conclude my report. Frisk displays outstanding efficiency, though I'm now forced to call his judgment into doubt. Despite plenty of rations remaining, I believe he may have begun eating the canines. Yep. The dogs who so desperately loved. Nah. That's just fucked. He's like, I love you so much, doggy. Also, I'm gonna eat you now. That's just fucked. When I woke this morning, there was a corpse lying on the floor beside me. Broke out the flashlight, fearful Frisk may have been savaged or taken his own life. As I did so, I could not help but see at the corner of my vision Frisk fleeing back into the shadows. The dead man was Dr. Roberts, a scientist I was sure had escaped into the mines at the first science epidemic. Oh shit, so he literally ran all the way into the mines and ate Dr. Roberts. That's just fucked, man. So he's like fully gone into cannibalism. He had bite marks in his side and looked to have been dragged somewhere. In addition, his tongue was missing. I'll continue to observe Frisk, Frisk while taking additional security precautions. Yeah, you have to do it. All he's going to eat you, bro. Psychic vision. Every time I get near one of these, I go just a little voice clearance and all this. That's a good question. Alright, oh and shit, and there's blood here. That's great. Ain't that exactly what I need? What does this do? Switchboard controlling the electricity. Well, I did something. Alright, dudes, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. And um, thank you again for just chilling back and having a good time with me. It's pretty fun playing this game so far. I feel like we're almost at the end, which is pretty gnarls to say the very least. Uh, but yeah, sorry, we already know. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna end this episode, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Check you later, dudes. Head smash. Shit, there's a body! Ah! Ah! Wait, fuck off! Ah! I wanted to talk. Yeah. Get a big punch. I punch your dick. I punch your dick. Ah!